Hi everyone, time for the long awaited packing video. Now, the last time we tried to do this packing video, with all good intentions, we had brand new equipment and that brand new equipment um, decided to record other things like um, the argument and the bickering and stuff like that, the behind the scenes stuff of the packing video, but it did really record the packing video. So we got no packing in it, just the bickering. So we figured we have to do it again. So sorry it took so long, but here we go. So on this trip, we're on a seven day um, Cancun resort vacation. Now with that, some of you may think that, well, I need, you know, two huge suitcases and two carry-ons and a backpack. Well, Rex and I travel with two carry-ons this size, goes in the overhead bins, and two backpacks that size. Um, probably about seven pounds here and another 12 pounds here, and that's all we have. Um, but there's a ton of stuff in here. So let me show you how I pack. I know many of you were thinking um, packing cubes, rolling, compression bags, all kinds of stuff, but I'm gonna teach you my method. Use it if you like, if you don't, no biggie. Um, we got this from um, folks that we follow, uh, no, a fellow nomads. Um, they are on um, Eat, Walk, Learn, and I will post the information below in the comments or in the description, actually. So let's go ahead and get in here. So this has been my trusty bag for years. Um, I have one of the three hats that I brought in here and a little headband, some undergarments, so you don't need to see those. My makeup, I'll pull um, something really cool out of here later to show you, but for now I'm just gonna get to the nitty gritty. So I'm gonna actually move those over here. I've got one of my four pairs of shoes. I actually have four pairs of shoes. Of course, I have one that I'm wearing. And I have other pairs of shoes. Now, what I do just to protect my clothes and other things is I put all my shoes in these shower caps. You get them from any of your hotels. Take them all and keep them so you can protect your clothing and other things from your bottom of your dirty shoes. Um, so this is all really I have in here. I've got some socks shoved into gaps because that's important. Use every bit of space you have. And then I make a burrito. So I don't know if you can see this, but it's just gonna come out as one burrito of clothes. It was folded in here, fits just like that, and I zip the bag up. Burrito. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out of the way. I'm just gonna move it over here. So in this burrito is every bit of my clothes and the, the um, thought process behind this is you put your largest thing down first and stack on top of it. Mainly it's the whitest thing. So you can see my very first garment that I would have put down is a sarong. It's really big and that's one of the things, my second sarong and a scarf. So those are my biggest things. And then you lay it out and you can see that there's a ton of clothes in here. The dresses go next. So I have a dress, another dress, lots of dresses in here. This is a lot of clothes. And then I have some shirts that are gonna come get rolled down. Then in the middle of the burrito, so now you can see how all the layers, the longest or the widest layers down first, and then you keep stacking. So you have t-shirts and things like that too. But right here in the middle goes your things that really aren't like the others, I guess, right? Um, so leggings, um, kind of other tops, shorts, bathing suits, lots of bathing suits, a skirt maybe, shorts, all of those things. And you just take them right out and put them wherever you're going to have them live when you get there. And they're, they're not wrinkled. Then you can see, here's my shirts, not wrinkled. There's one, two, three, here's a, another, sarong type thing, four, five, six, seven. There's eight shirts in here and an overshirt. So there is a ton of stuff in this packing system. So then once you, you know, once you've stacked it all up, the only thing you do again, if you want to repack it, you put your stuff in the middle, just like that. 
you roll all of your stuff up there and burrito it. If you've worked at Taco Bell or somewhere else that makes a burrito, you've got this down. If you haven't, it might take a little bit, but then you just spread that out, fold it up, lift it up, stick it in your bag. That simple. It's pretty fantastic. I hope you give it a try at least once. I um, mean, if you don't like it, that's fine. I'm okay, but this is wrinkle-free, easy to hang, perfect for me. So you do you. Thanks for watching, and we'll show you Rex next. Well, we'll show Rex's packing next. Okay, my turn. So, Kara went through all of her packing styles, and uh, to be honest, we pack slightly different. Uh, she's got a, a, a way that works for her that she just shared with you. I've got a way that's slightly different. Uh, I prefer it. Uh, so hopefully between these two, you might find something that works for you. So Maybe. let's get into it. Um, open it up here. Again, these are both carry-ons. They slide up in the overhead bin of any airplane, so you don't have to worry about paying for extra luggage fees and that kind of thing. Um, you know, they've actually got a net up here that you can store extra things in. I'm not even using that on this trip. So uh, you're gonna find out that you can fit so much stuff in here and uh, you'll have more than you, more space than you even need. Uh, so I have a pair of pants that I wear for um, fancy dinners or when they say you have to dress up. Uh, I bring these. And a little tip for everybody, these dry cleaning bags that you get anytime you take shirts or any kind of dry cleaning in, if you put things in these, you know, fold them up nicely. I don't know what kind of magic happens with these bags, but things don't wrinkle inside them when you're in, when they're in your bags. So uh, I, I don't know when I learned this, but learned this a while ago. I'm using them for pants right now, but I've used them for like nice dress shirts or anything, silk shirts, those kind of things. And when they come out, you put them on a hanger and they're beautiful. So put things inside these bags, don't throw them away. Uh, we're meeting some friends this, this particular trip. So we've got a couple of games that we brought with us. Uh, I've got my, my dop kit with all my toiletries. Uh, we can get into this in a little bit if, uh, if you want to know more about that, but uh, small is your friend. All of those travel size things, even if it's not your exact brand, you can get away with not using that brand for a week. Find the smallest thing you can uh, that meets your needs and you're good to go. I've got everything I need in here. Uh, I've got a pair of nylon pants here. They're, they're basically sweatpants, but they're super thin, super light. They roll up tight. And if I need to just throw something on to, to run down the hall or to go to breakfast or something like that, or just relax in the evenings, uh, perfect uh, kind of thing. Now, here's where I start to deviate from the way Cara does things. I am a packing cube guy. So uh, what we have here are a couple of different styles of packing cubes. These things are very versatile. They, they not only keep all of your things organized, uh, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. You can get them from tiny little things to, to, to great big sizes. Uh, this one is actually got a nylon fabric, so it's really thin and light. Uh, this one here is, is, is more sturdy. And uh, so, you know, it all depends on the kind you want or, or the kind you buy, but this one, this has all of my socks and underwear in it for the whole week that I'm gonna be here. So those all fold up. I'll roll uh, things and, and fold them. So whatever it takes to fit them in this thing. So uh, that's one. This has all of my t-shirts and uh, I've got t-shirts in here. I've got swim trunks in here. I've got shorts that I'm gonna be wearing later in the week. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things that I'm gonna be wearing over the course of the week. They all fold up nice, zip up right around uh, uh, around them, and they make a nice little block that fits in nicely into the bag. I have uh, several pairs of shoes in here. 
I've got a, you know, Tiva style shoe because I think we're going to go out on some uh, uh, excursions out in the, in the water. So I want to make sure I have something that can get wet. Uh, I have shoes and again, car's little trick. We steal these shower caps wherever we can, whenever we find them in a hotel. They never stay behind. We always take new ones because as you can see here, this one has actually started to tear. So it's gonna get replaced pretty soon. But for now, it protects all of my other clothes inside, inside the bag. Uh, but the other thing about shoes, never leave those empty spaces empty. Fill them up. I've got socks in here. It, both of these shoes are, are filled. So every ounce of space inside this bag is completely full. It's got something in it. There are no hollow spaces, right? So shoes. Uh, Car showed her uh, insulated mug earlier. We we both have one of these, but it's got some snacks in it that we're that we brought in case we needed them for the plane or we get hungry when we're uh, somewhere where we don't have access to food. Fill those empty spaces up. Don't ever let them travel empty. And lastly in here, uh, this is another style of packing cube. This one is more what I call an envelope style. Uh, this is where I store all of my dress shirts that I would, I would wear for the evening times, those kind of things. Uh, but it opens up. It's got actually a nice little template when you are folding all of your clothes you put this template in, you fold it around it, and it makes it fit in this envelope perfectly, right? Uh, so, of course I say they're dress shirts, but the first couple are all t-shirts here. Uh, so I've got four t-shirts there, and then here are all the dress shirts that I'm gonna wear to dinners at night. Uh, they're all nicely folded, and because they're in this envelope, they stay nicely pressed. They don't get super wrinkled. Uh, so you can take them out, throw them on a hanger in the closet, wherever you're going. And, you know, by the end of the night, the, the wrinkles have pretty much fallen out of them. Sometimes you'll have to run an iron over them, but usually I never have to. It's, it's very convenient. Um, so that's it for here. There's some internal zippers and things if you need to store things in the sides of the, of the bag. But our particular bag, our particular bag has this extra, I'm gonna flip it over here has this extra little zipper in the back. When we first bought these, these actually had shoulder straps and things where you could carry it like a backpack. We ripped those out because we realized we're never gonna use them like that. We like the wheels, so we like to roll it. Uh, so what we did, we took this empty space that was left by those, uh, by, by the backpack mechanism, took it out, and now there's extra space for other things. I've, I've snuck a full brim hat in here. Right, so now I can go out in the sun and not get sunburned. Um, there's, uh, right now we've got a little extra bag in case we go somewhere. It's just one of those cinch bags that, uh, you know, if we go somewhere we can throw sunscreen and sunglasses and things like that in it and bring it with us. It's very lightweight. Uh, a lot of times on previous trips, we would actually put a, a, a nylon duffel bag in here. And if we ever got in, in an absolute emergency where Let's say we bought gifts for people that we couldn't pass up and we didn't have enough room left in our, in our backpacks or our roller bags. We had an extra bag that we could throw all of our dirty laundry in and check that on our plane ride home uh, so that the gifts that we had, we'd still have in our possession. We could put them in our, in our bag. But we had a, a, an emergency overflow kind of thing. <clears throat> uh, we very rarely had to use it because we're pretty disciplined about that, but it has worked out very, very well. Um, again, it goes back to don't let there be any empty space that you're carrying with you. So uh, that's the roller bag. I put as much heavy of the heavy stuff that I can in this bag so that it can roll on the wheels and it doesn't have to be on my shoulders because the other thing that we bring is uh, a backpack. And Now it's time for the backpack. All the bigger bulkier items fit in this, the carry-on bag. This though has everything else that I need. Now granted this trip, shh, Rex had to carry a couple items. He's gonna brag about that in a minute, but let's just look at these. So of course in the front pocket really quick, there's masks if I feel I need it. 
which on the plane today, there was about a hundred coffers. So I did, um, Kendall, which is great. Sometimes depending on what I have um, with me, purse or anything, maybe passport and other, other things, easy access go here. This backpack is fantastic because it's got like three zippers and a top load. So it's got a lot of stuff. So my toothbrush, some pens, anything I need um, to write with. Got a speaker, so we carry that with us. Headphones, post-it notes. Um, then here's this top load. I've got like things that I need to sleep with, like um, earphones, eye mask, um, a little wallet, some chapstick, a pen, things like that that are great for a long plane trip. Extra battery pack mask I used on the plane today and then there's just the the bin of crap right this is like there's just a lot of junk in here from two more hats as I said I brought three hats we've got some protein powder and things that I uh, like to take in the morning also my um, cup which by the way if you like something like this it's double walled and everything like that you can reach out to Tall Girl Fat, uh, Tall Girl Customs on Etsy. She can make you one just like this, it's fantastic. I'll put her information down below as well. Got another pair of shoes, these are my flip flops. Again, using the shower cap covers. Other pair, fourth pair of shoes, more dressy. Another pair of glasses, this backpack is a never ending. Um, I also have my curling iron. Usually I don't take this, but it's a resort. I can have a little fun. Um, some pills, makeup remover, jewelry, just stuff you find a nice little case. More cases, the better. Smaller, keep it concise, because then you can hide them and sneak them anywhere. If you've got one big bag that you're trying to find and fit somewhere, it's a pain. So try and reduce it to four bags, you know, make it four bags rather than one giant plastic bag. And then of course my sunglasses. So my regular glasses are there. And then this is the area that has a lot of the rest of the stuff in it for us. We have my purse that I like to take around the resort. I even take that on cruises. We have our iPad. And I have my computer. So that's everything that we take on trips all the time. How's there, my beautiful? You're okay. beautiful. You're beautiful, baby. <clears throat> okay. This is the other thing that we bring. Uh, we've got each got backpacks. Um, this one uh, we chose because it's got a lot of expandable pockets. We can cinch it down so that it's super thin if we needed to, or this thing will expand quite a bit and we can put a lot of stuff in it. Uh, of course, the more stuff you put in it, the heavier it is to carry but uh, it, it, it's very versatile. So outside is this net that has quick access to anything you're gonna need on the plane, uh, at the airport, anything that you're gonna need quick access to so you don't have to dig into the bottom of this. Um, <clears throat> you know, for, for me, I've got a passport, I've got a little uh, a cover on that to uh, protect it. Got the, the cord for our cell phones, you never know when your battery starts to die, you're gonna need quick access to, to charge it. Um, Kindles, this is, love Kindles. You know, the we can put 20 books on this thing and it's still only this thick. Uh, absolutely love that. Uh, we've got uh, our, our masks for the plane, uh, some uh, uh, sanitizing wipes, that kind of thing. So basically it's whatever you need to, to have quick access to. And then inside here is uh, kind of a, a file system for quick, you know, uh, you can have pens and, and things in here. This is where I keep things like snacks. Uh, I've got some headphones that, that uh, I, I need on the airplane, uh, things like that. So why then, do you have a dot on your headphones? Why do I have a dot on my headphones? Well, this is something that cost me quite a bit of money recently. 
uh, Car and I both really enjoy Apple products. They've worked very well for us. Um, and, and but one thing about their sleek, you know, white designs for everything, uh, hotel rooms these days almost always have perfectly white bedspreads that, you know, when you walk into a room, it looks beautiful. You can tell how clean it is. That is great. But when you're packing up at the end of a trip and you've, what do you do? You throw everything on the bed and you slowly shove it in your bag and then, okay, do I have everything? Yep, I sure do. But without these dots, this little thing hides on a bedspread and you don't even know it's there. You don't know you've forgotten it. And I did. And this cost me a couple hundred dollars because I walked away from a pair of headphones once and uh, never saw them again. So the way we got around that, couple of little dots, those little uh, uh, circles that you, stickers that you get at a uh, uh, office supply store or something like that. Put those on there. If this is laying on a white bedspread, you'll at least see the little dot. So that's why I have a dot on my headphones. Um, what else do we have in here? A little pocket here for reading glasses. Yes, I need to use reading glasses now. I will have to admit it. Uh, sunglass case. Uh, again, this is another quick access pocket for things that, that you might need. Um, and that's about it for that pocket. And then, again, it starts to open up. This is like the biggest pocket that will, that will go from super small if you compress it to almost six to eight inches if, if you want to uh, expand it. I've got a hat that I've stuck in here. Um, I've got things that Kara couldn't quite fit in her, so I had to carry for her. So we've got some more uh, uh, personal care items. We've got some makeup stuff, that kind of thing. It's uh, not that it couldn't fit. I could fit it. It was just really heavy. So I shared the burden. Sure. And some, uh, like a nightshirt. Uh, some of the clothes that she wore on the plane yesterday so this is kind of some overflow stuff uh we've got some the camera that she's shooting this video with now plus another one that that we have both of those were in here uh, as well uh back to another packing cube this is a, a a smaller one that i have uh converted to our cable uh, system so all of the electronics all of the cables that we need for different things uh, all go in here so that when we ask where are they or have they been packed yet we know where they go um, again and this is pretty much because of the way we do things this is more camera equipment more of our uh, you know more of the, the things that we need to shoot these kind of videos and, and do things like that. You may not have those, so your backpack will be a little lighter than mine was. Uh, little side pockets, water bottle that you bring on the plane, fill up at the airport so you don't have to spend $6 for a bottle of water. Uh, other pocket has space for some sunscreen that we brought with us. Uh, and then one more pocket. Uh, this is a, a long sleeve shirt that I had on in the plane because at one point it was absolutely freezing. Uh, I've got some flip flops in here. Again, I, I had another pair of, of flip flop style shoes as well. These were lighter. I put these in my backpack because they're on my shoulders. So the heavier stuff goes in the roller bag, lighter stuff goes in the backpack. And then lastly, uh, I also have a computer. We do a lot of computer stuff, uh, a lot of work uh, when we're on these trips as well. They're not always vacations completely. So, uh, you know, that has a nice little pocket that uh, goes in right there. And that is it. So we're gonna be here for a whole week. And that is how we pack to, to go on almost every trip we go on. Uh, everything has a place, everything goes in its place and we know where or to look for it when we need it. So hopefully you can uh, steal some of these ideas with pride and um, hopefully they work for you. All right, so that's it. We finally delivered on the packing video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, and what do we need from them now? 
I need you to subscribe. Please. Don't wait. Do it right now. <laughs> Just get it over with. <laughs> Subscribe to our page. We really appreciate it. And if you have anything else that you would like to know about or how we do this or any of those kind of things, please just ask questions in the comments or on our Facebook page and we're happy to do another video or maybe even do something live to where we can answer your questions then. All right, we'll take it easy. Bye. Bye.